Hey, hey everyone, Greenbeard here. Welcome back to another MLB 9 Innings 23 video on my channel. We're back with the Twins team, and just like with the Phillies, we have the new overall achievement packages, the Team OVR packages. So we have a special team select pack, an exclusive SIG, and the SIG change ticket. All right, so we're going to start with the special team select pack. We'll move into the exclusive SIG pack. Um, I, as you can see, I don't have basically any packs. This is not long after I recorded the previous Twins video, but I want to open these because I want to know what I get, right? So uh, if we dupe from one of these two packs or both of them, we have uh, Eddie Rosario in backup, so we can do a club craft today as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Actually, sorry, got to build up that anticipation, right? Show you what I want. I would love Carlos Correa's shortstop SIG. I would love this Josh Donaldson card as a SIG. I would love a Nelson Cruz SIG. Otherwise, we're looking for bullpen arms. Any bullpen arm SIG would be awesome. The only starting pitcher that I would probably put into my rotation would be if we pull Walter Johnson, we'd probably put him in over Randy Johnson. So, without... Now, without further ado, let's start with the special team, and then we'll go with the exclusive safe pack. So we're going with the Twins. See what we can get. Neither is a diamond. Oh, Nathan, you kidding me? CJ Crone, that's a good first base card, but we are not passing up on Joe Nathan. <laughs> okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome card. Now let's go with the exclusive SIG pack again. If we do... We have Duke Protection, Minnesota Twins, Carlos Correa, Byron Buxton. I don't know. I mean, okay, we will probably GI him at some point, but it's not a great year for him. It's not a great SIG card. So... We'll hold on to him. We'll probably actually put him in a backup for now. It, 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 either way, we only have one GI right now. And we're going to use that on Joe Nathan. Um, so that's actually not the worst thing in the world either. So I will... We will actually immediately... Let's check our Black Diamond piece situation. We're at 100, so we're close, but we're not there yet. We will use the GI ticket on Joe Nathan. We will take him to Diamond. And he's gold, so we don't have to worry about anything else. He is the best reliever the Twins have. One of the best relievers in the game. 69. We'll use the Great Increase Reset ticket. He'll probably go down, but again, that's okay, because we're not going to throw him in just yet. We need to get skills on him first. He is going down. Um... So that's okay. 66. Eh, that's all right. Um, all right. So we'll end up saving up these premiums, I think, for Joe Nathan. Uh, who do we... Who do we... We want to use this premium blue, though, on Clemente here on this set and see if we can get him something better than reliable. That is not better than reliable. So we'll stick with reliable uh right so i will be back with the next portion of the video when we can work on joe nathan a little bit more all right so for the other part of this video initially i was going to have this be two separate videos but since i don't have quite enough material to make this two separate videos i'm just going to have it do be one video and that is to say we are going to take roy sievers black diamond and then we will SIG change him today. We're going to do that all in this video. Even after we just pulled Joe Nathan. I'm okay with that. We're going to take Seaver's Black Diamond. We will SIG change him. He's out of the game. So I'm not worried about it. Already look at those stats. That's pretty beastly. Um, so he's Black Diamond now. And that means we can use the SIG change ticket on him. Just to see we can use it on any of these guys. We don't need to use it on Nathan because we just pulled a zig. But we are going to use it on Roy Seavers. 
And, I mean, that card is just so good. That card is just so good. Um, yeah. Yep. That's what we want to do. That's what we want to do. Oh, right. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous sig change. Oh, man. He is such a good card. We have not even finished off his special train yet. He's got a pretty good set, BIU Batting Machine Slugger. And he definitely hits BIU bonus. And... Yeah. He's he's in center field for me, so it's perfect. Um... I, yeah, I don't even know what else to say. We still don't have material to work on him much, but he's almost certainly going to slot in right there. In fact, he's probably going to be my three now. Uh, absolutely gorgeous card. We will use some upgrade tickets on Joe Nathan to open up his training, but we need to get him skills first. Um, we could look for a legend set on Seavers, but... Because he's got that triple three set, what I'm probably going to do is save them for Nathan. And then we can get him a legend set. Would be ideal, I think, in my brain. So um, I'm going to go grind a bunch on this team. And when we have a little bit more material, we will finish off with the next chunk of this video. So we only have a few scale change tickets, but we're going to use them on Nathan here. Um, we used GI Reset. Got him up to 73. The only re uh, the only way that would be an issue is if we land Finn because the last two points of GI go to f uh, location and break. So um, he would be a little bit short on the f on it would be a little harder to get the Finn bonus, but uh, we'll cross that bridge if we get there. Let's uh, see if we can land even a good or a mediocre set, something that we can. Uh, use to put him in the lineup um i don't have a ton of skill change tickets on this team so we're just gonna kind of use them as we get them finesse setup man ace interesting interesting ace isn't great i do like the finesse setup man combo though huh I'll hold on to it. We'll roll over this boss touch mess since touch doesn't really work on a relief pitcher. Okay, so nothing there. Um, this skill set gives me en enough interest to train him up at least, to get him a, f a basic fin train and see if we can run with that. And, uh, you know, throw him in and see how he does at least. Um, there's enough interest there, I think, but... Um, we'll see. Uh, I'll probably end up using more skill change tickets in the meanwhile. So we finally had the event points to get the SIG pack from the event shop. So we'll open that now. See if we can land a team card. Not a diamond. Nope. Okay. We keep pulling um other cards from the central, but no twins from a normal pack yet. All right, we'll use this normal premium vintage while we're here. Legend? No legend. Oh, interesting. That's um one of Sean Green's new cards for the Blue Jays. And while we're here, I'm going to use the Ultimate Wish Player pack. I didn't realize it was an Ultimate pack. I thought it was a gold pack. Um, but we're going to use it. Uh, we're going to pull Carlos Correa and hope that he comes out diamond. If not, then it doesn't make any difference. But since... Um, hey, he did come out diamond. How about that? Love that. That's super helpful. All right. Well, that's actually really, really swell. He's only got a 61 GI, so we'll use a GI reset on him. Since we're not going to use a GI reset... On Nathan with a 73 overall. But he is going to go up. Hopefully we can get above 70 on him. Nice. 74. Awesome. So we have a new card to work on for our lineup as well. That's going to be super, super awesome. 
So while we're here, because I don't quite have the resources to fully work on Nathan at the moment, um, which I would love to be able to do, but I, I don't want to rush into anything, so I'm going to take my time working on him. Um, so in the meanwhile, what I'm going to do is, even though this video is going to be pretty scattered, I'm going to use this black diamond change ticket on Clippert here, and then we're going to start using premiums to hunt for pitcher's chem. So, uh, this is what we're going to do, and uh, it's because I was able to get Taylor Rogers special trained up enough that he gets the fin bonus, despite having power pitcher. Uh, so he's at plus 25 right now to fin, which is just enough. And we'll use the premiums on him, unless he lands um, bullpen day or control master at like 333 or 332. Um, we're just going to keep hunting until we can get pitcher's chem. And I think pitcher's chem would really, really benefit this team right now. So we're going to start hunting for it. It's probably going to be a long, long journey, but that is, unfortunately, one of the frustrating parts of this game. Okay, we will, should we get the legend? No, we're going to be just short of a legend ticket today, unfortunately. Boss win streak. All right, can we at least see a legend skill? Boss ace, no. Four more chances. Three more shots. Alrighty. Coming to an end. On... And last one of the day. In our hunt for pitchers cam. And we did not see a single legend skill. So that's very disappointing. But at least he is... Um, Black Diamond now, so any premiums we get, we get, we'll head into him as we hunt for Pitcher's Chem. I will now go and do a little work on Carlos Correa. He won't go in until he gets some skills. But, uh, you know, we're getting there. I did finish Roy Seavers up to level 9 special training to finish off his stats. And as you can see, I retrained him so he hits 125 field. And his stats are still pretty beastly despite that. And we got him a little more speed to make sure that he hits that barrel it up bonus. So um, he is all set in center field. Um, we'll train up our Carlos Correa to slide him in over Escobar. And we should be on our way. I will sort of hodgepodge together as much as I can for this video. But there's only so much I can do with the resources that we're pulling. So, I've got Correa trained up here with this train. He's got, as you can see, 115 field. Um, pretty good, I believe. It, it might get a little higher. Uh, I don't know. 115 field's pretty good for a shortstop. That's normal. So, I'm pretty happy with that, though he doesn't have skills. So, um, and because this Nathan does have skills... Now, Finn Boss win streak at two isn't great for a reliever, but I think it's better than the skill set that we have on this Nathan um, with Finesse setup man maxed out. I don't know. I don't know if Boss isn't great, so maybe it's not. I'm not entirely sure. I. I might train him up, and the stats alone might be enough to justify putting him in, but he's not special trained right now, so we're going to wait, and we're going to see. Um, but So we're going to use the skill change tickets we have today on Correa and see if we can get him something better than Spot Slug, which is what Escobar at shortstop has. But we do. We, I did get four historic player packs um, here because this is the one team where, again, outside Walter Johnson, where we would love his SIG, of course, but... Um, any of the other Supremes outside Walter Johnson would be huge upgrades for this team. So we're going to open these one at a time. We'll open the Premium Vintage, and then we will use some skill change tickets. So that's just a normal card. Trevor Hoffman, sign of things to come maybe. That's nothing. One more. Nothing. One more, last shot for the day, 
and it's nothing. So, as tends to be these case, the case, those historic player packs give you nothing. There is a diamond vintage, though. No legends, but we did get a diamond vintage. Team card? No. Not a very good card. We got two more premium vintages here. No legend. Okay. Um, actually, let's go do some vintage combos. See if we can get a little lucky. Okay. We'll hold on to... Well, no, I'll... I'll let, let's hold on to Radkey, I think. I don't... I really don't think I... Actually, yeah, I don't think I'd use his SIG even if I pulled it, so... Um, I also decided that I'm going to do a club craft for that Buxton because I was crunching some numbers on the card and his stats just aren't really going to hold up. Um, even compared to, like, for example, um, our regular, um, our regular Cruz has better stats than that Buxton would even have at Black Diamond. Because most of Buxton's base stats are in his speed. And it's not even like he's a high fielding card. So, you know, it could, I guess it could have, if it was a high fielding card, maybe be something that worked out. But he's not. So, um, let's do one more combo. Okay, so nothing from those combos. Um... I'm disappointed in the historic packs, but I'm not surprised by them. And let us now go use the skill change tickets that we have. And we will use them on Korea. We're just looking for really two good skills that are better than... Um, we're looking for two good skills better than spot slug together, which... Isn't hard, but we would need to land two good gold skills together, which we have been struggling pretty hard to do. So, yeah, we're not even seeing two gold skills together, let alone two good gold skills. And then we do get two good gold, or two gold skills, and they suck. So, um, man, normal skill change when you need normal skill change tickets to hit, they don't, and it's the absolute worst thing in the world. And we did not get anything today on Korea, so we are just going to have to keep waiting. We need so many skill change tickets on this team. Um, I, I'm i probably going to hold off on training Joe Nathan for Finn because he, in order to hit Finn, he really is going to need special training. And the next amount of packs that we have will go into him for special training. Um... But with his base stats, it makes it really difficult for him to hit it. And so we need the special training, and he doesn't have any yet. And it's not like like he would be, because he has to replace the Nathan in our lineup right now, it's really not a huge thing. I'm not super worried about it um, at the moment. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm 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 pretty upset that we did not land anything on Correa. It's just... Skill change tickets, man. They're they're the worst. They're just the worst. Um, so that will probably wrap it up for this video. I'll start saving up material. We can come back. We'll special train Nathan in the next video as much as we can. Um, we will do the club craft, but we're as you can see, we're a little bit short. You need four thousand club coins, and we only have thirty seven hundred. So. Sometime later in this week, probably I'll do that, but that'll be in the next video. Um, I used our OVR amp ticket on Clemente, so we finished off his GI up to 75, gave him one more eye. Uh, we retrained Seavers, like I said. We've retrained Garver for a little more fielding. And uh, we've got Correa here with a pretty good train. Um, but uh, we need to just get him skills before we can put him in. Because, I mean, 
Slugger Spot's not bad, but it's... I just don't think Table Setter Ace Specialist Reliable would be any better. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, I have Escobar hitting last in my lineup because that Slugger Spot is probably the most... One of the worst gold skill combos in the game, considering that both skills on their own are pretty good, but you combine them and it just doesn't work. So, um, again, we're going to have to... We, we're just waiting. We're waiting on blues and greens and to maybe get skill change luck at some point, which we haven't yet. So hopefully we can have a little bit of luck with the um, club craft. Um, but if not, it's no skin off our back because, again, I'm not I was I don't think Buxton would ever be a starter for me, even without a full SIG outfield at the moment. So it's not a huge deal. Um but with that being said, this, this will wrap up the video. I'll see you in the next one, and have a great day. Bye.